guys, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to protect your computer from any potential viruses and or, uh, you know, spies and things like that. And the first thing we need to know is how, to, how do you know if your computer is not already being, um, you know, watched or a virus is not at work. Well, the first uh, usual tall tale sign is in your taskbar, a piece of software usually uh, disguised as an antivirus program is running and it's saying that you have infections on your computer that are not necessarily true and that program is usually the actual uh, uh, virus trying to make you buy their program in order to remove the virus that's probably one of the worst ones to get rid of because they don't they don't um, remove themselves you have to buy buy it in order to remove it and or uh, find out another way to remove it. Another way you can tell if you have a virus is if your internet is slowing down or your internet crashes and or uh, if you open your internet browser and you know rude or obscene uh, websites are being placed as your home page and things like that. Another way is to check if your uh, antivirus is uh, or, or your firewall is not running so to check if it is running or not you click control panel in your start menu clicking system and security clicking windows firewall and as you can see my firewall is currently running on public networks and my home and work networks and it seems to be fine if this is off and every time you try to turn it back on and it keeps turning off most likely a virus is preventing you and trying to access your computer through the firewall so make sure those are turned on Another way to tell is if you run scans. So, to protect your computer from any viruses, the first thing you want to do is make sure your anti your own antivirus program is running at the moment. And as you can see, it's running. Everything's protected. And if I didn't get any pop-ups, since I didn't get any pop-ups saying that uh, I have any viruses or anything like that, then I should be fine. You can also run a quick scan by clicking Smart Scan with Nod32, or clicking Quick Quick Scan with uh, Symantec or Norton or AVG and things like that. And usually that'll run, and it'll try to see if there's any viruses on your computer. If it finds threats, then you'll need to go into other steps such as running malware bytes and Spybot Search and Destroy. But since this is for time's sake, we're not going to run them, and we're going to go straight into the next one, which is running Spybot to check and immunize our computer. So what we're going to do is right-click and run the program as administrator. These links for these programs are also in the description, only for um, Spybot, Search and Destroy, and Malwarebytes, any malware. You can also get the trial version of ESET um, not 324 if you'd like, or purchase it yourself if you don't have it. Again, run this as administrator, and it's going to load up Spybot, Search and Destroy. Viruses usually like to hide in different ways, and they're usually commonly referred as things like malware, virus, trojan, uh, backdoor, and worms. And people usually like to associate virus for every single um, type of thing, since viruses, I think, believe, I believe, are the first type of, um, you know, security flaw that happened for Windows. And so, what we're going to do is click search and destroy, and we can check for problems to see if our computer has any problems. And basically, in this little taskbar at the bottom, it's going to say, uh, right now it says unknown, but then it's going to start checking for different bots. So it's going to do a bot check and looking for these kind of um, bots or viruses and or worms and things like that. And it's important to use Spybot because they usually like to update and uh, you know get different definitions for new different um, types of programs that disguise themselves as legit programs but are actually viruses such as Zango and things like that so you need to make sure you don't download things like that or if you're not sure about a program you need to ask somebody or you know Google it just Google it and see if it's an actual program or if it's a virus that's what I usually like to do but for time's sake we're just not going to run the um, scan and we're going to skip that and go straight down to the immunize so click immunize and basically this is a, a personal firewall on top of your own firewall and basically it protects you from uh, protects your network from any potential uh, viruses if not already um, running at the moment as you can see I have 15,042 uh, protections on my images under Firefox but I need more protections as you can see I have 136,771 unprotected files and things like that so you can click immunize to immunize the rest of your computer but for time's sake we're not going to do that and so we're just going to close this by going to taskbar and test task manager and find search spybot and delete this to end the process and that's about it those are basically the first steps of checking your computer and protecting yourself from any potential uh, you know a virus and again what I said about Google Chrome or um, 
you know, using a search engine check for viruses. So let's say you want to download a Zango um, toolbar, but you don't know what the heck it is, and you, you're not sure if it's an actual uh, program. So what we're going to do is cl click Zango, and as you can see, uh, how to uninstall Zango, people are saying uh, it's, uh, you know, a terrible program. It's a type of adware where they try to, you know, take stuff from your computer and make you buy their program. So that's one of the worst kinds of viruses. Again, make sure you always use search engines. Uh, if your virus is already attacking your computer, you may be already too late, and using the internet is probably not advised. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and now you know how to protect your computer from any potential viruses, as well as checking your system to see if you have any uh, viruses on them at the moment. And until next time, this is uh, Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.